Have you been wanting to build a gaming PC over the last couple years? Tired of every graphics card you come across being out of stock or more expensive than printer ink when you do find one? Maybe the solution is to buy a pre-built PC. And maybe it's from Thermaltake. Before we get started today, a huge shout out to Thermaltake for sponsoring today's video. Customize the PC of your dreams at Thermaltake LCGS or follow the link down in the video description. And finally, welcome back to Craft Computing everyone. As always, I'm Jeff. Now, why would Thermaltake want to sponsor a video on craft computing, as my channel mainly focuses on, well, craft and DIY? To be honest, I wasn't necessarily on board when they reached out either, as I didn't know if it would be a good fit for my audience. But after taking a look at the PC, I was impressed enough that I wanted to show what it was Thermaltake was trying to do with their custom PC builds. Plus, I've got bills to pay, and if you hadn't noticed, 18-year-old whiskey and server parts can be pretty expensive. On my desk is one of the latest systems from Thermaltake LCGS, the Glacier i360TR4. And I have to say, it's a pretty great looking PC. This is one of their pre-configured models and comes well equipped, well cable managed, and ready to start right out of the box. Spec wise, we're looking at an Intel i5-12600K, which is rocking six cores and 12 threads worth of performance cores, and an additional four efficiency cores for running lighter applications at a lower power level. Alongside that is 16 gigabytes of Thermaltake DDR4 Tough RAM RGB running at 3600 MTS and a CATS latency of 18. The motherboard is an MSI Pro Z690A Wi-Fi and boasts some pretty impressive features in its own right. Not only do you get PCI Express 5.0 and an X16 slot for your graphics card, but there are four M.2 slots for NVMe drives, three of which are PCI Express Gen 4x4 one of which holds the MSI 1TB Spadium M390 NVMe drive. We've got some networking chops here as well, thanks to Intel Wi-Fi 6 on board, as well as an Intel i225V 2.5 gigabit ethernet controller. That means both your wired and wireless interfaces are capable of faster than gigabit speeds. Graphics wise, we're looking at an MSI Ventus RTX 3060 Ti with eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and 4,864 CUDA cores. That should make this system more than capable of 1440p gaming well above 60 frames per second in most titles. A couple tweaks could also see this card shooting for 144 frames per second in a lot of AAA games as well. The rest of the system is 100% Thermaltake, which should be completely expected as Thermaltake makes just about everything besides motherboards, CPUs, and graphics cards. CPU cooling is taken care of by a 240mm TH240 Snow Edition all-in-one liquid cooler, which did a fantastic job of keeping the 12600K cool, peaking at just 68 degrees Celsius under a full Cinebench workload and just 48 degrees Celsius while gaming. The RGB goodness doesn't stop with the cooler either, as the rear exhaust and twin fans up top are also addressable RGB. Best of all, all of these are connected directly to the motherboard and controllable through MSI's Mystic Light software, which means customizing the case and getting the exact look you want could not be more straightforward. Now, for my audience of people who are used to building their own PCs, you might question why you would consider buying a pre-built. According to the interwebs, building your PC is a rite of passage to entering the Holy Land. You know, the same way I whittled my own guitar out of a tree stump when learning how to shred, or sourcing my own kyber crystal when I constructed my first lightsaber. Building a gaming PC can be incredibly enjoyable, if you have the desire to do so. But it's not like there aren't advantages to buying one completely assembled either. For starters, if your end goal is to just play PC games, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can pull this out of the box, install a game launcher, and get to it. Next, support if something goes wrong. It seems there are as many manufacturers and PC parts as there are breweries and IPAs. What if I order a Hazy and hate it? Should I have gone with an Irish Red instead? Those who have built their own computers can tell you the frustrations of tracking down receipts and calling for warranty replacements when something goes wrong. With a pre-built gaming PC, like this one from Thermaltake, they are the warranty. You have one point of contact for any issues that might arise. In fact, inside of the box is this little handy quick start guide with a phone number and an email address and business hours of when you can contact them if you have any problems with your new PC. When it comes to gaming performance, the RTX 3060 Ti and Intel 12600K don't disappoint. Speaking of the 12600K, at stock settings, we see the performance cores boosting to between 4.7 and 4.9 GHz in most of the games I tested. And again, the max core temperature I observed during gameplay was just 48 degrees Celsius. 
That's a seriously impressive result when you keep in mind that this is only using a 240mm all-in-one liquid cooler, with the fans sitting right around 40%. But, like I said, gaming performance was on point. Running at 1440p and ultra settings, Borderlands 3 gives us an average of 95 frames per second and looks darn good while doing it. The 1% and 0.1% lows were also perfectly acceptable at 45 and 40 FPS respectively. Doom Eternal gives us our best results of the day, even at 1440p and the Nightmare quality preset. Here we see an average of 197 frames per second, a 1% 1 low of 132, and a 0.1% low of 111. What better way to use this sparklingly white gaming PC than fragging demons through the depths of hell at nearly 200 frames per second? While not quite as fast as Doom Eternal, Project Cars 3 was equally as impressive for being more of a CPU-bound title. Neither the i5-12600K nor the RTX 3060 Ti struggled here, averaging 132 frames per second at 1440p and max settings. Lows were also kept in check, bottoming out at just 88 FPS. Red Dead Redemption 2 remains one of the more challenging games to run at high settings, despite being released for the PC nearly three years ago. At 1440p, and with the quality setter set to the top of the balanced range, we see some fantastic looking visuals and a 61 FPS average. For a single player game that's not exactly a Twitch shooter, I find that perfectly acceptable. If you're someone who is looking for more bragging rights over beauty, this is one game that can scale very well with some graphical settings tweaks. Dropping the slider down to the bottom of the balanced preset, we see performance jump all the way up to 103 frames per second on average, with lows sitting in the mid-60s. Best of all, there isn't much of an impact on graphical quality. Maybe not every game needs to be ran at ultra settings if high frame rates are your goal. Just a thought. Last but not least is Cyberpunk 2077, which managed a 72 frame per second average at 1440p and max settings. Of course, that's not the whole story, as Cyberpunk also supports ray tracing, and as we all know, that's the fastest way to bring down performance in your favorite games. Well, how does 56 frames per second sound, with a low of 43 with RTX enabled? Say what you will about ray tracing, there was a noticeable improvement in reflections and overall lighting quality in the outdoor area I was testing in. All in all, I'd say this was a pretty solid showing out of a pre-built gaming PC. Frames were high, temperatures and noise were kept well in check, and best of all, the only thing really required out of me was installing my games. There are circles on the internet that will tell you the only way to get a quality gaming PC is by building it yourself, but I feel that unnecessarily limits who should be able to get a gaming PC. Sure, it can be fun and rewarding to build a PC out of parts that you choose yourself, but I'm also someone who pays someone else to cut my lawn. The Thermaltake Glacier i360T R4 looks good, performs well, and works exactly like it should, right out of the box. Whether you're tired of trying to source your own parts, intimidated by the idea of building your own PC, or just want to spend your time gaming instead of troubleshooting, this is a solid option to consider. Are you looking for more of a budget PC, or do you want to spare no expense and make your current PC look like a potato? Check out Thermaltake LCGS for a variety of pre-configured systems to meet any budget, or pick and choose your own components built to order. Either way, you're going to wind up with a great gaming PC without ever having to lift a screwdriver. Once again, a huge thanks to Thermaltake for sponsoring today's video. If you like this one, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Craft Computing if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Twitter at Craft Computing for daily shenanigans like this. And if you like the content you see on this channel and want to help support me in what I do, consider joining the Patreon. Link is down in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching this one, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Here for today is from Transient Artisan Ales. It is the Cosmic Juice Double IPA, clocking in at 8%. Transient Ales, Cosmic Juice. Let me tell you, this is just straight up delicious. Uh, not your typical hazy. It is not really bitter or acidic at all. It is straight up what it says, juice, and very, very sweet. Not sickly sweet or syrupy sweet, but it's the kind of beer that leaves you wanting more if, you're, if your flavor profile or your preferred taste leans more towards beer and less towards soda.
if you enjoy a Coke and you enjoy a Mountain Dew, you'll probably enjoy this. In fact, if this is what Mountain Dew tasted like, I'd drink it all the time.